Hello folks, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel. Another Final Fantasy VII Remake video. Uh, I'm not going to be sharing any spoilers with you. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing too spoilerific in some of these blurbs from the various reviews on Metacritic for the game, but I haven't read them all through in detail, so just be a little bit cautious about that. But yep, the reviews are in, as you can see. The embargo has been lifted. Having played about 15 hours the way through the adventure myself, I'm not too surprised that the vast majority of these reviews are extremely positive. It's so much darn fun. I'm going to keep this video brief because I really want to get back to actually playing the game. But yeah, honestly guys, you know, the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. The vast um, number of reviewers here that are actually giving the game a perfect 100 score is a very, very rare thing to see, I've got to say. Uh, but as you can see, it is actually the case here. Uh, there are a few negatives as well, but even the negatives aren't really that negative. I think the lowest score at the moment is in the 60s, which isn't really that bad. You know, I've gone ahead and purchased games that I've enjoyed where the top score have been in the 60s in the past. I'm sure some of you guys have as well. Um, but for those of you even that aren't that interested in Final Fantasy VII or don't have the nostalgia associated with the game that many of us, especially those of you, many of you that have been following my channel for any sense of time, uh, would have. Even you guys without that nostalgia may very well find just a tremendous game here to get stuck into. And a great introduction, really, to the Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know, or to the Final Fantasy Universe, I mean. You know, this game is just leaps ahead uh, from other games in the franchise recently, such as Final Fantasy XV. And I enjoyed that too, but it had some big problems. Uh, but this game here has really, really learned some just tremendous lessons for many of the shortcomings that 15 had. I know a lot of people were disappointed with Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, a little bit more recently, another Tetsuya Nomura game. But I tell you as well that in my opinion, Final Fantasy VII Remake trounces Kingdom Hearts 3. It really, really does. It is such a fun romp of adventure and uh, I would encourage you guys to check it out. But let's go ahead and just take a look at what some of the reviewers are saying here. We'll have a look at some of the positives, but then we will take a look at some of the criticism as well. And I will leave a link to the Metacritic site down in the description if you guys want to check that out, and you can then find the links here for all of the full reviews as well. So I'm not going to go through all of them. We'll just pick, I guess, some at random here. Screen Rant are saying that above all, though, Final Fantasy VII Remake is a picture-perfect return to Midgar. It's one that's been a long time coming as it prepares its players for the next instalment. It's possible that it's also laid the foundation for what could be the greatest series of Final Fantasy games ever put together, providing the quality holds up once the story begins to really expand in the next instalment, of course. Yeah, I mean, you know, I agree with that. Uh, what we've seen here is a fantastic introduction to the world of Final Fantasy VII, a full game-sized introduction, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it is going to leave you wanting for the next part. And hopefully the quality that's been set here is not going to drop as we go through the series. And not only for Final Fantasy VII Remake, but for the final franchise as a whole. You know, some of the more recent games in the series, 13, 15, they've not necessarily done the franchise any favours long term, unfortunately. So hopefully, you know, if the Final Fantasy VII Remake can really reinvigorate the series, then we'll get to see a lot more awesome stuff, not only from the remake, but from other Final Fantasy games in the future as well. And I'm just going to pick some of the random ones here. The Sixth Axis says, Enough a joy to play from start to finish, packed with memorable scenes, moustache twirling baddies, and epic battles. The first part of Final Fantasy VII Remake isn't just polished, it's opulent. Interesting description there. Uh, we've got Game Spew. Final Fantasy VII Remake is the best JRPG from Square since FF7. It takes a classic, carefully builds on it, and although certain changes made to the story may not be as well received by all players overall, there's no denying that it's a massive success. Uh, sorry about that. A little spoiler there. Yes, there are going to be changes to the story, but I won't be talking about that. Uh, let's just keep going down. Game Revolution says, My recommendation is to go into Midgar with an open mind and allow it to wash over you. Yeah, I would actually encourage that as well, guys. You know, really take your time. When you get your hands on the game, you might be tempted to rush through because the story, it does suck you in. Even if you have that nostalgia from the original and you think you know what's going to happen, even so, the way the story is presented here, it is so clever, it really just wants, uh, just, just leaves you wanting more. But my advice is just to try and resist that a little bit and take your time taking the surroundings because some of the details that are presented here are easily missed, but they just really add to the experience. They really, really do. Chat to some of the folks, the NPCs that are just scattered around the place. They won't have anything in terms of story or quest content for you, uh, but they will just really add to that atmosphere with 
you know, with dialogue and, and, and just getting to learn more about the situation that all of these people are finding themselves in. There is a lot of detail added into this game and it is worth taking the time through to check it all out. So Cultured Vultures says Final Fantasy VII Remake strikes a fantastic resonant chord that will leave long-time fans and newbies alike wholly satisfied. Uh, IGN gave it a positive review. Uh, let's just go through some others here. So we're getting down into the 90s now, which is obviously still absolutely excellent scores. Uh, Oz Gamer says, minor quality of life missteps aside, so a little bit of negative feedback there. Final Fantasy VII Remake is still an absolute gem. Polished to a high sheen and worthy of slotting into any serious gamer's collection. Yep, absolutely. Like I said, even if you've not really got that nostalgia, or you've not really played Final Fantasy VII or the franchise as a whole, this is a, a fantastic place to really step into it. Uh, just be warned though that once you do, there are other games in the series that might not live up to the potential that Final Fantasy VII Remake will set. So uh, look forward as well to the future as well as what's already happened in the past. Uh, Trusted Review says Final Fantasy VII Remake is one of the finest JRPGs in recent memory, setting a new benchmark for visuals and real-time combat in the series while managing to begin retelling one of gaming's greatest tales in grandiose fashion. It's just a crying shame we have to twiddle our thumbs and wait for the next chapter. Indeed, I don't think it's going to come as any surprise to many of you that where the criticism does start to come in as the scores get a little bit lower here, it is still over the fact that the game is episodic in nature or that the project is episodic in nature. It's going to be split over multiple games. If you've come to terms with that, if you're on board with that now, then that's not obviously going to be a big deal. So just factor that into your mind as you read through some of these reviews. But there is some bitterness, I will be honest with you, with some of the authors here as to the fact that the game has been split. They did tell us, Square did tell us about that, of course. Uh, it's got to have been some time ago now, probably a couple of years ago. Uh, but still, even to this day, not everybody is on board with that, even having played the game. Uh, God is a Geek says that FF7 Remake is simply stunning, a breathtaking masterclass in recreating something beloved for a new and old audience and destructoid. This world is full of powerful characters and a setting that's worth remembering, remake or not. As you can see, just pretty much almost universal praise here uh, until we get down to just five reviews that have the yellow. Uh, the amber coloured sticker behind them so no reds at the moment which is nice to see and even these ambers are few and far between in comparison to all of the green scores there but yeah some of the uh, criticism here uh, we'll just go through it from US Gamer for example uh, the remake sets out to fully reimagine a classic RPG with improved combat and an expanded story unfortunately it's hurt by weak side quests and a surplus of padding and its biggest change is bound to be controversial it's one of the most coherent and enjoyable Final Fantasy releases in years, but it's also likely to be one of the most divisive. I'm not sure what it means by its biggest change, if that's referring to some story element that I've not yet encountered myself, or if it's referring to the combat or the graphics. I guess by the end that'll make sense, so we'll come back to that one. Uh, but yeah, some of the side quests are being criticised as uh, being boring, um, or just filler, and yeah, to some degree I can see where that criticism's coming from. I'm personally enjoying them. Uh, but it is the usual stuff that we'd expect from Final Fantasy and JRPG side quest content. But it's not bad, don't get me wrong. And as you can see, the fact that we've only got a few mediocre reviews here, I think, illustrates that point. They're not going to be to absolutely everybody's cup of tea, but they're not bad by any stretch of the imagination. And of course, they're optional, so you can skip them if you want to, but I don't think you should. Uh, Gamer No says the core story and the combat are fantastic, but it's a shame Square Enix felt the need to bloat the game with a ton of nonsensical new elements, turn it down, not up. I'm not sure what the nonsensical new elements in specific are being referred to here. Probably have to read the full review, but you guys can do that at your leisure. And if you've been raised on a diet, this is Gaming Bible, of the very best role players of the past 10 years or so, Remake may struggle uh, to hold your attention as it streamlines itself into a tunnel vision state of failing to see the picture of what could have been. Yeah, you know, I would disagree with that quite profusely. It's certainly holding my attention, and I'm a big JRPG fan. And Telegraph says, remaking, and I don't really get this one, remaking a touchstone of the medium in this fashion is like creating a big-budget 10-part Netflix drama series out of the title sequence from Grange Hill. Franchise fans will tune in and see an outsized sausage on a fork, only to be confounded by the three episodes dedicated to the netball teacher's character arc. Very confusing description there, uh, trying to sound clever, I think. Uh, 
but I disagree with it completely because I've not got that impression at all. I'm a huge fan of the Final Fantasy franchise, a massive fan of the original Final Fantasy VII. I know this is all subjective, of course. Some of you guys may disagree with me, agree with the Telegraph. That's fine. I don't care. That is no problem. You can do that. But I'm just saying from my point of view, I've not had this kind of impression of the game at all. It's not come off to me as just some kind of pointless endeavour. Um, I am, as I say, completely absolved into the story. I'm really excited to see where things go. And yes, the game does take breathers from time to time where you can go and do your own thing or the story is interrupted to go and do something else. But I'm actually really enjoying that. You know, the fact that you get to take these breaks from the main narrative from time to time just to uh, not... Not pad things out, although I guess some people will see it as that, but it's just a way of just allowing your mind to stay fresh so that you can really absorb everything that's going on without it all just being compounded on you uh, moment after moment. But yeah, I, I don't see it as, as the Telegraph has put it there at all. And then EGM says that the Final Fantasy VII Remake manages to balance the introduction of new concepts with faithful recreations of the original game's most memorable aspects, but it also unnecessarily pads out this first instalment in a larger story with too much downtime between its most striking moments. So yeah, the small amount of criticism here, as you can see, is generally resolved around the fact that the game is being split up over episodes. And that does mean, by definition, because each of these episodes are going to be full games in and of themselves, that there's going to be extra content that wasn't in the original. We've known that pretty much for like the last few years now. That's not a surprise to us. Um, if you guys are expecting that, I don't think you'll be disappointed. This game really does expand on the original Final Fantasy VII, and it isn't all with side quests or filler in that sense. The story itself is changing. It is different. Not the overall narrative, but how that's presented. There is a lot more nuance and just a, a, a lot more action and activity that's taking place that didn't occur in the original in terms of the story. We've known that was going to happen. In my opinion, it's done well. It's not a disappointment. But the little bit of criticism here says that it is, and that's fine, of course. Uh, and then there's a few reviews here that haven't actually given scores. Kotaku, as far as I know, never gives scores. Uh, I'm guessing some of these don't either. But these aren't negative reviews by any stretch of the imagination. So Polygon says that the remake is the very best thing a game can be. Fascinating. It forces us to confront our subjective tastes and asks us to consider what we value in the games we play. Your feelings about the remake will be determined by what you personally valued in the original release. Well, I mean, you know, I guess you could say that about any game, really, couldn't you? That it's going to be subjective based on the person that's playing it. Uh, there's a moment, the verb says, that many players experienced early on in the original game, myself included. Up until that point, the entire story had been contained in Midgard. Then all of a sudden, you leave the city and realise just how big the world really is. It's almost shocking. So far, FF7R has successfully captured that initial feeling. Now I want to see the rest of the world. And to be honest with you, I think what Square have really had to try and work hard to get here, and I can't tell you from personal experience, but they've got this, because like I say, I'm still only 15 hours in, but what they've really gonna, uh, have worked hard at getting is not only on one sense of satisfaction that you have played through an entire Final Fantasy game, and you've got, you know, all the content for the money that you spent, but also leave you with wanting more. I suppose it's a bit like when you watch the latest Star Wars movie or something or the star uh, episode or whatever the case may be. It's a full movie. You get your tickets money worth, unless it's the new sequel films. We won't talk about that. Uh, but then they also leave you wanting more. And I think that's what Square have gone for here with the first edition or the first part rather of the remake. And yeah, as you can see, fantastic review scores overall. The Metacritic score at the moment, the meta score rather, is 87. Um, obviously, that's going to fluctuate over the coming hours, days, and maybe weeks as well, so we can keep an eye on that. But I'm going to leave you guys now, get back to playing the remake myself. I want to try and get as much experience with it as we can, so that as soon as the launch happens on April 10th, I can really start pushing out my guides, actually having a semblance of an understanding of what I'm doing, so that you guys can learn from my mistakes and the things that I teach you. But if you want to stick around for that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will also be streaming the Final Fantasy VII Remake from the 10th of April as well. So it'd be cool if you guys wanted to stop by in those chats and, and take part as well. But thanks so much, guys. Don't forget, please don't leave spoilers in the comment section of my videos. I'm trying to keep everything as spoiler-free as possible, at least until we start playing it publicly. Have a wonderful day, though, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.